There are 14 people in the world who know this, including the Vice President, the Chief of Staff, and the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs. You are going to be the 15th. Seven years ago, my husband was diagnosed with a relapsing or remitting course of MS. When all this is over, tell the press, don't tell the press, it's entirely up to you. This time, we're talking about The West Wing. This one was the very first show that I ever fanned over. It could be because I had some familiar ties with it. I won't go into that though. It was also the first time I ever found out what fanfic was. It was the first time I watched a fan vid. It was the first time I looked up spoilers for something. It was the first time I had internet access while watching a show live. So the West Wing is about this president, played by Martin Sheen, who plays a guy named Jed Bartlett, or Josiah Bartlett, this is his real name, but he goes by Jed. And he's married to Abby Bartlett, played by Stephanie Channing, who they are the best couple ever in the history of anything. So the president happens to have MS. Spoiler alert. He gets shot the second season, which is where I picked it up. And then I went back and watched the first season like all in a day. Because <laughs> that's what I do. The American public thought that he was the greatest president ever. And because he's freaking Martin Sheen, he got elected for a second term. Altogether, there were seven seasons of The West Wing. And during the last three-ish, no, two, it was mostly not Bartlett. And Sorkin wrote for seasons one through four, which were the best seasons. Season five was kind of all over the place and because John Wells took it over and he didn't really know what the hell he was doing with the show because he was used to writing ER. And, and he, like, really kind of messed it up for me. That's why I tell people, if you're going to watch West Wing, start with Aaron Sorkin. They are going to be so in love with it because his writing is brilliant and he makes you think. He educates you while you're watching an episode and you don't even realize it. I started getting higher marks in my history classes. I started taking a greater interest in my country and what was going on and in politics in general. I became more patriotic. What? I was about 12, 13 years old at the time. It also introduced and it gave me the concept of powerful women for the first time. There were Abby Bartlett, who was a thoracic surgeon and like the first lady and so awesome. CJ Craig, who was the press secretary and later the chief of staff and it really makes no sense how she became chief of staff, but whatever, we don't question it. Donna Moss, who I wasn't like, I've never been a big Donna Moss fan. I appreciate her as a character and I understand where she comes from, but I just, you know, it was all about CJ and Abby to me. But Amy Gardner, who was also awesome. These were all women who were incredibly brave, incredibly talented, and knew exactly what they were doing at their jobs and they did it very, very well. And it was a new concept for me, not only as a viewer, but as a young woman who was becoming a woman at that time. And it helped me shape who I am, how my politics are. It, it just, it was that one show that put it all together for me. So I want to know, was there ever a television show, play, movie, book, whatever have you, that changed your life and helped you shape who you are today? Don't ever come to me again with unnamed sources, CJ. You get no cider.